Yo, what's going on guys? This is Lee Van Dam here, and I've been out of the game a little bit because I've been out of town, but uh, I got a little bit of time, so I wanted to hit you up with the news for this week. I'm sorry I missed last week, but really, really cool stuff. Been enjoying Noctis at closer to full power. But let's see what we're doing this week. Go ahead and talk about it. Uh, going to have the Web Weaving Princess. Now, it's going to be the Final Fantasy 15 hard boss quest. It's going to be a, a, a Radney, a Radney, and uh, you, you know, you fought her already in the Frozen Cabin, but uh, she is going to be pretty serious. Now, Undead Dead Killer is effective. She's weak to attack and magic reduction, so that way we can survive her stuff, but she's immune to defense or spirit reductions, so you know, we're going to have to put together the right combo to deal enough damage for this girl. That's going to be important. Now we're getting a four star trust Moogle, so we're going to five percent Moogle for finishing up the fight. That's awesome. Ten thousand debased coins if you don't use any smoke bombs. I guess you can escape the battle and get the rest of the rewards. Maybe I don't know. We'll have to see what that uh, what that turns out to be. That's pretty interesting. Now, um, if you defeat her within ten turns, you get fifteen percent fire resistance, and if you clear it. Without an ally being KO'd, you get the Iron Duke, a great sword with 118 attack. You can't go wrong with that. That is a lot of attack, so that is really, really nice. It doesn't have an element on it, so you're not element chaining with it, but that's a really, really good amount of attack for anybody. So, very cool sword. It's going to be at the Vortex, so we know how to get there. And uh, once it comes out, we'll do some more news on it, and I get that boss battle up because it took me forever finish up Golbez, so didn't get to put it up because I finished it up on the last day, so I'm sorry about that. But we already the units came out Friday. They're they're pretty good. Uh, I'm just gonna go over them because I hadn't. Uh, Noctis, if you haven't gotten them yet, I hope you get them because he's really really great. The ring's been updated. It's nice. 30% attack magic. Uh, Alterna costs less. Death and Holy are still there. Still 25% chance to counter attack uh, to uh, evade and it gives you a chance to counter with Holy. Uh, the rings are stackable now, so that's very important because that can be 50% of your physical evasion if you can get two of Noctis and uh, level them up. So that's really, really strong, very strong. Uh, his skills have been updated. He's got a 50%, um, he's got a huge break now and it, it deals like 11, it's almost 11 times multiplier. It's 5.25 times multiplier with 50% uh, ignore defense that he has access to and he gets access to it off of warp strike gets access to it off of warp decoy gets access access to it off of his limit burst lots of different things give it to him very very strong very strong finisher skill so um, really really changed the game for him now there's a bard build that uh, Hal has gone over that I've been using my uh, base of my Noctis off of it's really good I'm going to try to get the link for his video in the description here below so you can get the mechanics down, but it is it's very nice and it really makes sure that you want to level his limit burst. His limit burst is strong, 14 times multiplier with a hundred, with over 100% for the buffs. I mean, the buffs are rude. They're like 124% or actually pretty higher than that. That's crazy. And it's really good. It lasts for two rounds. And he's got a lot of opportunities to be able to cast it every two rounds. So, really great. Um, so, Gladiolus is the five star that's new for this banner. Uh, it's a tank. TMR is really interesting. It's a shield, 70 defense, 35 spirit. That's nice. 15% hit points. That's nice too. Uh, chance of boosting own attack when receiving a physical attack. As interesting as that is because it probably... You know, it won't be better than the buffs you can get from people. It's all right. Uh, hopefully, it'll stack like Berserk does, so that way it's its own buff, because then it would be really, really good. Now, he's got Royal Guard, so he can cover... Um, he can use a skill to actually cover somebody 100% and boost his defense and uh, spirit. Uh, Intercept is his AoE cover, and Antagonize is a buff that lasts for five turns, and it makes it to where he gets a 20% chance to counterattack if anyone else is hit with physical damage besides him and he has his own chance to counterattack when he's hit too so 
he can counterattack a lot based on this, but the percentage is the same. So if you were to AOE cover and just evade everything yourself, it's not like it's much better. So if someone really knows some more juice about him, let me know because I thought it was interesting, but the more I thought about it, I was like, well, eh, you know, it's great if you don't have another tank. I'll put it that way. Or Zargabath because he just counters all the time. Um, you've got Core next, four star base, six star max. He's got a lot of hit points, but he's a damage dealer as well. Trustmaster, 30% attack boost and a boost critical rate. That's pretty cool. He's a marshal. That's nice. And uh, he's got some interesting things. He's got the Immortal, which is a chance of restoring his own hit points when receiving physical or magic attack. And he escapes death as well at a pretty high hit point bracket. So it's pretty nice. Uh, way of the mind's eye, he damages and reduces attack and magic for enemies. He's got an attack and magic break, and he can cause his limit gauge burst to fill more quickly after he attacked with Slaughtering Blade. Uh, his limit burst is actually really good. It's not on here, but um, he, he's something. it's something that you'd want to build around. Next, we've got Iris, Prince's friend. It's her job, too. Three-star base, five-star max. Her TMR is great. It's a shield with draw attacks, so you get the plushie. That's pretty nice. Uh, if you didn't catch the shield off of Ariana Grande, then this is going to be really good for you. And uh, featured abilities here to heal. Cure status effects for one ally. Don't give up. Restores MP for one ally. And embolden. Embolden is really good on a 5 star max when you're first starting the game. But, you know, you can outshine it with stuff uh, later in the game. So, she's still good for a Trustmaster. So, that's really cool. Very, very nice. I like a Trustmaster. So, that's cool. Um, and then the Frozen Cavern, we've been running that. It's a King Mog Farm event. You get the base coins. Um, you're going to actually turn them into the Mog Minister because the King Mog is still running the last event. Power Shield's okay. Thermal Suit's okay. 50% fire resistance is really nice. Lots of spirit. So if you get somebody who doesn't get a physical attack very often, um, that can be a really good uh, piece of armor for them to make them immune to fire. Um, if you need that all the usual suspects are here so the rare summon tickets you got to get those trust moogle you got to get those i've already snagged those and then you've got um you know awakening materials you've got scream roots you know you got fine alcaris you've got all the stuff that you want to get from a king mog event so uh, you guys know what to do and then we've got yojimbo and we've got elder coral these are the two bonus mobs they don't have a lot of defense, so you shouldn't have to worry about dealing a lot of damage to them because they, they die pretty quick. Um, Beast Killer is effective against the Elder Quarrel because it's like a cat. Man Eater is effective against Yojimbo, but they have not put up much of an offense from, against me at all yet, but they are really, really great for extra coins. So hopefully you get a lot of them. And of course, with this being a MOG event, the units that you summon, well, they help you out. So that's really cool uh, I've already done my summons for this event because I already had Noctis so I did not need to get him again and even though I do need another one because the second ring of the Lucide would be really good I'm leveling a 20 sided dice from Saz to try to compensate for that right now but uh, I got my whole squad so everything's ready to go for me um, you know let me know what you're doing in this event because this is pretty cool Sorry, I'm late with everything, but uh, it's been nice so far. I've got all the stuff that I wanted to get. I'm looking forward to the boss this Friday so we can hook that up. And, uh, you know, um, it's time to farm. And so, appreciate you as usual coming by. If you like this, throw me a like. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so. Um, playing this, Alchemist Code has been really, really good. been farming a lot in that because you can do that on another device got it on my chromebook right now it runs great fantastic so i've been farming with that while i've been farming on brave xbs it's crazy stuff but uh, as usual i really appreciate you coming by and until next time so this is lee van dam you guys take care and god bless i'll see you